was an artist before we met, but I also was a stay-at-home mom. So my art mostly consisted of whatever the teacher at my kid's school needed done, and, you know, and things for my family and friends. So I didn't do the fish art until I was fishing with Norman, and he was pulling up these um, fish and throwing them back, and I was saying, "Those are so beautiful." And then. Sort of, I had known about this art form, but I did a little bit more research on it. This is where my children are mortified. <laughs> Washing a fish. But you have to get the slime off of them, uh, or the paint won't stick to them. Yep. How to embarrass your children. <laughs> My daughter actually walked in the first time I was doing this years ago and said, What fresh hell is this? <laughs> so, oh my god, like this. It's a Japanese art form. So but now they're they love it. And I think it's you know, pretty interesting. Anyway, you have to get the slime off the fish and saltwater fish are slimier than freshwater fish. I guess it was originally from what I have been able to research, it was uh, a way for a fisherman to record his catch. Um, and then the Japanese art form is very simple and sterile. And when I say simple, I don't mean simple. It's very, very elaborate. It takes a lot of skill to do it the way they do it. But they tend to leave their prints just very minimum. And at first I started that because that's what you see and that's what you know. Well, I couldn't leave it like that, and I think that's what art is supposed to do. It's supposed to, you, it, it always originates somewhere, and then the artist takes the form that they see, and then they make it fit their region. And we're so colorful, and we've got so many different cultures here, and just the spiciness of our life. I couldn't leave it alone. <laughs> I had to start doctoring it up and dabbling. So. You know, you have to do two or three to get what you want because you never control the consistency of the paint that you just mixed, what that's going to be like. <clears throat> but anyway, so what you would normally do is anything that's mucousy, you cover up. But after a while, you just kind of learn, you know, what not to do and, keep, and avoid it. So basically, you feel like an idiot at first. <laughs> Painting the fish. This is about when my daughter walked in and said, what fresh hell is this? <laughs> like about four hours later, he would be really ready to be <laughs> gone. And so I just like to put him back in the river and do this little kind of appreciation thing in my head just to, you know, not out loud, because once again, you don't want to embarrass your children by the <laughs> high priestess of a fish cult doing her little <laughs> chant. But just sort of a, just an appreciation of that I'm able to do something I enjoy so much. And I just, I'll turn them over and do the traditional way I'll show you that. So we'll see. So you never know what you're going to get, and this is part of the fun of it. It could be a complete disaster, or it could be something you enjoy. But it's just the same thing as when you pull them out of the water for the first time, you don't know what he's going to be. To me, this is just recreating that. Just what is this going to be? And so, then, okay, so I've got a little smudge here, which I'll white out. 